What? You still on Motic 2? We have to change that right now. Welcome to the Marketing Automation Show. I'm Joey Keller, your host. In today's part, I'm going to talk about how to upgrade from Motic 2 to Motic 3 and why you should do that. Because Motic 4 is already on the horizon. And I'm recording this video in 2021, early April. And if you are still on Motic 2, shame on you, you should really upgrade. So I created this uh, tutorial today where I'm going to show it to you on camera in video how to upgrade an instance. So we're going to go and uh, get our hands dirty in an SSH connection. Uh, all the commands I'm using will be visible on my website. And the link is in the show notes. So you can just do it yourself. Of course, um, every system and every uh, installation is different. You should adapt it to yours. But I'm trying to mention it in different places in the video where you have to really watch it. I'm also going to deal a little bit with setting up the crons. So you will see what kind of cron batch script I'm using. It's a highly optimized uh, one. And I think it's really good. I also have an app helper at the end of this video. Uh, it's an app I created and it's free to download. You can just go to my website, log in um, uh, after registration. And uh, in your download area, you can download this app. There is also video instructions how to use it. It's going to help you to optimize your own jobs for sure. So let's begin. OK, so let's do the upgrades today from 2.16.2 to 3.3.2. Uh, in my setup, I have all my files in the VOR WWHTML Modic folder. So I'm going to work respectively from that. And in this setup, I'm going to use the, the uh, sudo user. So that means that everything what I do here will be coming from the sudo user. Maybe it's not like that with your setup. So that's one of the changes what you have to mind when you are upgrading. So First, we, first we're going to do some migrations. Uh, I usually do this because I want to make sure that that the database is on the same level. Um, everything is properly migrated. So I just like to run this before. And some things what you see here today may be absolutely not needed or should be done otherwise. I'm just trying to do here something what I know that it works. So there is no right or wrong here, really. Um, I just show you how I do it. So I hope you can learn something from that. Oops. So let's wait a little bit until all the alterations and all the updates are done. I will stop the video until then because it might take a while. Oh yeah, and don't be surprised, there are some red lines. Don't worry about those. Actually, it's just, there's no SQL statement there, so you don't have to uh, worry. And uh, once the migration uh, will done, then we will force the, to update uh, the database. The scheme. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Yeah, I think I will stop the video again for a couple of seconds. Okay, so we are done here. Let's go further and actually force the updating, updating the database scheme. And afterwards that's done, we will uh, clear the cache. We're going to clear the cache a couple of times during this process. So. Uh, this video comes with a documentation. If you're watching it on YouTube, probably you don't have the documentation. Head to my website, joykeller.com, and look for update from Modic 2. You will see all the commands nicely listed, what you need for updating from 2.16. And there will be some parts which are uh, explaining the difference, different commands you have to use. Okay, so. Oh, now we're going to clear the cache. This always takes a bit, so I will stop the video and don't zoom. 
so we are in a good shape so let's make sure we are in the right folder this is where I our, our uh, modic is uh, located so now I'm gonna look for a new version with the uh, update find command and as you can see I'm all the time running this as sudo probably you don't have to but I'm forcing uh, uh, sudo and user www data and then PHP if you have here different uh, user just you should use that so as you can see we found our um, update so it says that you know you can see more information in the blog um, how to update properly but in general we're gonna try to update to 2.16.5 and that because this is an old system this is 2.16.1 or 2 so 2.16.5 is needed and yes we would like to go ahead I just noticed this is in German but it doesn't change anything so it's gonna communicate to us in German and we answer in English and the happiness is achieved because it's really happy to to answer this way okay uh, okay we can't uh, update the German language that's quite fine we are done Oh, actually we have an error but that's fine don't worry about that language error so now we are on 216 um, let me check uh, just to be sure that we upgraded so I'm gonna go to the website and check it okay so here's the thing if you see this don't be alarmed this is absolutely normal all you have to do is make sure that all the files belong to the right user and then you can already log in and everything is fine so let's see if we are on 216 and yes you can see it here everything is good we we can continue on the update to the three point blah 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 so let's go back there so as a next step we're gonna upgrade our system and the reason for that is because we need a bunch of new things in terms of PHP and uh, SQL so I want to make sure that you see I'm running on PHP 7.1 so I'm gonna upgrade to 7.3 and also with the SQL at the time the, the, the MariaDB DB has to be also 10.1 uh, plus so uh, we're gonna make sure that this happens and we're gonna get the right uh, version for our MariaDB as DB as well plus we need a bunch of other settings in the PHP so from this point we upgrading the system under Modic and then when it's done we're gonna upgrade Modic itself um, this is gonna take a while so I'm gonna stop the video again okay this is done so we're gonna go further with the commands okay we're gonna add this so we're gonna need uh, PHP 7.3 that's what we're going for let's run one more update at this point will be fast and then we will install PHP 7.3 right after this <coughs> this is definitely the boring part it will be a lot more interesting in a minute okay so let's install PHP 7.3 yes and then we will install all the dependencies and of course you can find this also in our uh, in the descriptions looks like I will stop the video here as well because it's really slow okay done let's install our dependencies Okay, let's skip to the end 
Okay, very cool. So now we're gonna edit the PHP ini file because the new settings has to be set uh, in a way that Mar uh, Marik loves it. So we're gonna go for first of all the short open tag, uh, which should be on. Then we're gonna check the memory limit, and we're gonna raise it up to five twelve. This is up to you. I go usually minimum uh, 256, but 512 is what I feel comfortable with. So upload upload max file, max file size. I set for 200 megabytes because I don't care. Also, the post max size should be set to make sure that you can uh, upload bigger files. I'm going to set to 50. And um, max maximum execution time. This is good for your um, running your scripts. And I think that's all the settings what we need. So now is the moment when we uh, turn on our um, PHP 7.3 and we get rid of our PHP 7.1. <coughs> this should be pretty much the same for 7.4 as well. So this is not gonna change. You need to restart Apache and you have to make this PHP V to see, yeah, we are running on 7.3, so that is really cool. Now, we need to update our um, our database. We're gonna change, we're gonna get rid of uh, MySQL and we're gonna install MariaDB DB for that. But before I, I would do anything, I would like to export my database just to make sure that I have it. So even if there is any issue I can restore it anytime. So I take my Modic database now and export it with the MySQL dump uh, command. This is gonna take a little bit and then we just um, then we just remove the MariaDB server and install a new one and this is actually really cool because uh, we are doing a heart surgery while our Olympic champion is running. So this looks, it's quite a big one. So let's stop the video for a moment. Okay, so let's remove the database. And we're gonna the new sources. Can go for these. Okay, so let's see what our update brings up now. <coughs> okay. Very cool. Okay, I will let this run and stop the video for one sec. Okay, this is done. So let's see, it looks like our website is live and kicking, which is really, really cool. So we can continue on our uh, journey. So let's uh, clear the screen and continue with the update. So let's look for the updates first. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, so we understand that there is a 3.2.4 ready for download. So let's do that. But before we do it, we going to have to move some of our plugins out from here. 
and the reason is because some of these plugins are not compatible with Mautic 3.3 so I took all my plugins which I had before and not compatible I moved them out outside of the Mautic directory so now I can actually run the update command oops that's PHP and yes we are ready to start so let's see what happens to our pre-check yeah, so I installed this modic from cloning from GitHub. That means that our composer JSON is on the way. That is really not cool. Um, so I'm not gonna, uh, you know, do any changes um, uh, to the composer or anything. But I'm, what, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move out the composer for a moment that it's not there. And then I'm gonna do the update again. So if you install by composer, this is a workaround for you. I found it fairly safe. I did a bunch of uh, upgrades like this, and I think this is the right way uh, to do if you installed with Composer before. Just disable that Composer, um, the original uh, Composer uh, uh, JSON file, uh, take it out of the way, and then it's gonna perfectly install it for you. Uh, so now we are just updating from 2.16 to 3. Point something, not to the final destination yet, because since the original 2 to 3 jump, a bunch of time has passed, and there is already other very important uh, updates in the meantime. So next, what is this uh, phase two? Uh, basically, what you have to do, you have to run the same thing once again. <laughs> and that's gonna finish the, the install. It's gonna take a while. Very cool. <clears throat> this is just our jump to Modic 3. And like I said, right afterwards, we're gonna look for another update and update to 3.2.4 at the time of creating this video that was the the most recent version okay this might take a while cool we are very happy okay let's jump this part maybe and we are almost there so your user data restored, your modic tree is ready, one more thing, cleaning up, very nice, building modic cache for modic tree. So remember, when you, when you um, change your cron jobs, make sure that you change slash app to slash bin, and also your spool folder change, you have to look for var slash spool in the future. Do you want to remove the backup files? Definitely, I don't need anything there. And great, we have Modic 3. So let's see what do we find now, if we look for another update. It's our third update. <laughs> okay, so we can still update. Great, so let's do that. I'm gonna go to that. Okay. And update find oops I added the wrong command sorry so we're gonna do update apply like this yes we would like to go to the latest version and as a second step we will do an update apply finish What's the next thing we have to do after that? Certainly we have to make sure that ownership is fine. So we're gonna show all the data to the proper user, all the files to the proper user. And I'm gonna do uh, also do a change mod just to make sure that everything is right. Uh, permissions, and I will clear the cache once again. Maybe it's not needed, but I just love to do. So I do this trinity of modic stability uh, commands. So. I will join it to the www user. I will make sure that 
permissions are right and clear the cache and mind that here the bin is set because we no longer use app console but you use bin console and once this is done we're gonna take a look how our website looks now and if it's working at all and if we are happy at all with it just one moment okay so let's look at our website I'm gonna clear the screen and let's look what we did okay so as you can see we upgraded to 332 it's a little bit weird why I didn't go to upgrade it to uh, 334 maybe I should have read more uh, properly what was written there uh, about this 334 uh, a little bit funny but the point is that as far as I knew this was the the, the most uh, recent version and uh, we are very happy with that that it worked so the next thing what you have to do is you have to make sure that you're changing your um, cron tab based on the new path which you will also see in the description and uh, that's pretty much all you have to do so thanks for hanging out with me and uh, doing this uh, upgrade together And there's one more thing what I wanted to show you is that as you can see I changed uh, the cron jobs so I use this batch script to run my cron jobs my cron jobs so what does it do um, it's gonna uh, this is my folder where all the where the console is to be found so all my PHP scripts running after each other this way if one is taking a lot of time it's not gonna influence the other one so they just you know gonna run nicely after each other so I always they they, they, they don't wait for you for each other that's the that's the main point here uh, and this way I can run them a lot smoother and I have one more um, setting here that if my spool folder is full then I'm automatically sending out emails and processing the broadcast it's just another optimization I do you don't have to do the most important thing is here that to change your your uh, console to bean console from app console when you're upgrading from uh, two point something to three point something in Modic One more thing about cron jobs, which is pretty important, I would like to uh, show you. If you're using cPanel, it gives you some idea how to uh, set up your cron job, but maybe you don't know. So the Modic documentation maybe is not good enough for you, or it doesn't tell you how exactly to uh, put together the cron job path and and other things. Uh, if you come to my website, there is a page. Wait, I'm gonna just pull it up. So here we are. Um, it's on my website. Um, please come to uh, login first of all or register if you haven't yet it's for free then you click on the download area and you can download this cron helper app and there is also more infos this read this it exactly will tell you how to uh, set up this uh, cron helper app and I'm gonna show you how it looks when you open it so it's something like this after installation and it will help you to guide through exactly how to set up your cron jobs it's also giving you a bunch of articles regarding optimizing and um, and uh, uh, testing and uh, troubleshooting your campaigns cron jobs email sending so it's a pretty comprehensive uh, uh, tool I hope you like it I hope you liked the video. In case you have any questions, just hit me up on modic.org in the forums or come to my website, joykeller.com. There's also a little chat icon. If you click on that and I'm online, I try to answer you right away. If not, just drop me an email. I'll come back with a really exciting topic next week. Until then, keep automating. I hope you enjoyed this part. part. <laughs> I hope you like this uh, short video. Uh, I hope you like the video. Um, 